Hi, and welcome to the Wayne County Probate Court. This video will guide you in filling out Form PC591, which is the sworn statement to close unsupervised administration. Before we get started, this video is not legal advice and is for informational purposes only. If you have questions specific to your situation, you need to seek legal advice. So let's retrieve the form from the Wayne County Probate Court website, which is www.wcpc.us. And this is the home page. You'll see in the upper middle, there is a link, probate information. Click on that. On the left, you'll see how to administer a Wayne County probate case. Click that. You'll see various case types. This is related to a decedent estate, and you'll see a link to training for newly appointed personal representatives. Click on that link. There are a lot of great information. There's lots of great information on this PDF, but we are interested in form PC591, and you can simply do an internet search to retrieve that form. Now you want to make sure that when you do an internet search, the link you are pulling from is the courts.michigan.gov website. And once you confirm that, when you click on the link, it brings up the form and you can begin to fill it out right on your computer. I have an annotated one here to help walk through it. So on the upper left, you'll put the county as Wayne. You'll see in the middle, there's a link or a box to check if this is a supplemental sworn statement. And then you'll want to include the case number and the judge on your case. You're going to put in the court website, uh, court uh, address and the phone number. In the matter of, you'll put the deceased person which is the name of the case. Then we're going to read these numbered items. Number one, I am the personal representative of this estate. Upon filing this sworn statement with the court, this estate will be closed without a hearing, meaning you won't go in front of the judge. More than five months have passed since the date of the appointment of the original personal representative. So it's been more than five months since the personal representative was appointed. As we go through these, it's important to make sure that these are true because you will sign this court document. There are penalties if you sign a document that turns out to be false. You are making these representations to the court and so you need to read these, you need to understand them, and they need to be true before you sign and submit this document. Moving to number two. If required by law or court rule, I have published notice to creditors and the time for presentment of claims has expired. Number three. I have fully administered this estate by paying, settling, or disposing of the claims that were presented the estate and the administration expenses, and all other taxes. I have distributed the assets of the estate to the persons entitled to the assets. So here, this is the main purpose of the personal representative is to pay any estate debts or obligations and administer or transfer the assets from the estate to the now rightful owner. You'll see an asterisk here. Down below it says, specify any exceptions. If any claims remain undischarged, state whether the estate was distributed subject to possible liability with the agreement of the distributees, that is the person receiving the asset, or state in detail other arrangements that were made to accommodate outstanding liabilities, which you can do on a separate piece of paper. Number four, 
the interested persons, addresses, and their representatives are identical to those appearing on the initial application petition, except as follows. You'll need to go back and review the initial application or petition. And if any of the people listed as interested parties have a different address, you need to state that in number four here. I just gave an example. You'll want to fill in the information specific to your case. Number five, it says check only one box as appropriate. 5A says the decedent died before October 1, 1993, and no Michigan inheritance tax is due. A certificate of no inheritance tax liability from the Michigan Department of Treasury is attached or has been filed. If that's true, you'll check box A. Otherwise, the decedent for B, the decedent died on October 1, 1993 or later, and no Michigan estate tax is due. If that's true, you'll check box 5B. Or 5C. It says Michigan estate or inheritance tax has been paid in full. Evidence of full payment from Michigan Department of Treasury is attached or has been filed. Check the appropriate box 5A, B, or C. 6. I sent a copy of this sworn statement to all distributees which are people who are to receive assets from the estate, and to all claimants, people who have a claim against the estate, whose claims are neither paid nor barred, and to all demandants, that is, people demanding payment. I furnished a full accounting account in writing to the distributees whose interests are affected by the administration. You need to show financially what expenses were incurred by the estate, what income was received by the estate. That's what an accounting is. And you need to give that to the distributees. If you haven't done that, then you should not fill this form out, sign it, and file it with the court. Moving on to number seven. If it's applicable, you will check the box. It says, I reopened the estate and have completed the administration. Then, very critical, you read this sentence after number seven, which says, I declare, under penalties of perjury, that this sworn statement to close unsupervised administration has been examined by me and that its contents are true to the best of my knowledge, information, and belief, if that is true, you will sign, you will type your name below, your address, city, state, and zip, and phone number. If an attorney is involved, they will sign, type their name, address, city, state, and zip, and include their bar number. If no attorney is involved, that can be left blank. Now at the bottom of all such forms, there are references to statutory sections which are MCL, and court rule sections, which are MCR. You need to read these in addition to filling out the form. You can simply highlight and do an internet search. You want to make sure that you are typing, clicking the link from the legislature.mi.gov. Once you've confirmed that, when you click on the link, it brings up the relevant statute. Here it is, closing a state by sworn statement of personal representative. You want to read this section. Also, there's a court rule. If you do a Google, or excuse me, an internet search for MCR 5.311, sometimes uh, this case text will come up as the first option. My preference is to use the official Supreme Court website, which is court.michigan.gov, which is the second link below. 
Once you confirmed, then it's courts.michigan.gov. Click on the link. And as you can see, it brings up the court rules. And we can just do a search for 5.311, which closing the estate. And you'll want to read that section. And then lastly, there's a notice to interested persons which give them the opportunity to object. And that is how you fill out form PC591, sworn statement to close unsupervised administration. We put this together at the Wayne County Probate Court because we care. Have a great day.